Welcome to Touchline. I'm your host, Anthony Totera, today with a very special guest, an all-star, a superstar for Team Canada, and also DC United, Dwayne Di Rosario. Welcome to OSA TV Touchline, and more importantly, welcome to the city of Toronto that you want to give back. d Roll United Tour has arrived, the first on the stop. Talk about this tour and why you want it to start it. Well, first and foremost, uh, the most important thing is, is I always like giving back, especially to my community, which is um, very dear dear to my heart. And, you know, just trying to spark some inspiration in some of these kids to, um, who knows, maybe one day help further develop this sport in this country, whether that's players, whether that's coaches, whether that's referees. Um, you know, whether, whether they're not even involved in soccer, just soccer, just uh, just better citizens and just to give back in any way that I can. And, you know, we put on this uh, free tour. And it's obviously first kickoff is here in Toronto. Um, and we obviously thought that would, that would be the best place to start is at my hometown. And, you know, nice to see all these kids come out and um, really show their support and, uh, you know, see a little, all, all the little D-Rolls out there, all, all the little future future stars. And, um, you know, it's always nice to, to, to give back as well as uh, a lot of the kids brought spare shoes and spare clothes to an organization that we teamed up with. It's called Cinequip and they provide uh, kids in, in, in um, um, challenged environments in Senegal with um, soccer gears as well as they raise money so they can provide them with scholarships so they could so like some of these kids have the same opportunities um, over here so it's it's just a it's just a great feeling when you're in a position you can give back what i love about this and you're too humble to say it but the key word free and you've given back your time you've gotten a lot of things for the kids here today pizza you've gotten them gift bags but more importantly smiles Dwayne. Yeah. smiles from moms and dads and kids that maybe come from some communities that would never would have had an opportunity to meet a superstar like yourself and learn uh, the the game of soccer from you. This is what it's all about, Dwayne. You as a human being, forget all the awards you've won, forget everything. You want to give back. Why? I think it's important. I never, I, growing up, I never had the opportunity to, to meet a, a professional or come, or come to my to my teams. We basically just uh, watch from inspiration from other professionals playing and, uh, you know, just traveling and giving back. And like you said, seeing the smiles in kids' faces and, and um, you know, inspires me. And, and I always want to give back because, um, you know, I could have been a easily one of those kids that could have went the other way. But, you know, with good people around me and uh, good family and good friends around me, encouraging me and, and uh, keep me you know somewhat disciplined you know and, and me listening as well and that's why I tell these kids because it's on them at the end of the day to um, really you know fo follow your dream and, th and that's the goal of this whole uh, that's our mission is basically to inspire these kids to, to, to follow their dream but you know I can't take full credit of it I have a, a staff that has volunteered their time you know the OSA has, has gave us um, the facility so you know it, it, it's a lot of people it's not just me and um, you know my, my management management group uh, addition and, and, and obviously Senate equip coming on board so you know it's the entire team that really helped to, to make this happen and I, and I can't uh, say it's just me by myself what I love about this it's a family atmosphere a family yeah. thing that you're doing about it Dwayne and let's be honest it's a Sunday afternoon it's hot and sunny out in the GTA but they're away from their computers Dwayne and they're actually here learning this is what's great yeah I mean that's one thing we emphasize is the health part of it and the fitness part of it you know we, we see a lot of kids um, in, in this day and time suffering from um, you know various illnesses especially obesity and we want to really inspire the kids to stay active um, you know of course there's a time and place for your computers I think we're all kids we all enjoyed it at some point in some time but you know there, there's a time and place where you have to go out there get out in the street run get your community out there kick around the ball and have a good time and there's nothing there's nothing like that because you get to understand other people's culture and you get to understand other people a lot more and you can see the diversity in this group that we had today and um, you know I'm really I'm really happy everyone came out well said I won't let you go without talking a little bit about your Ontario memories I just about fell off my seat listening to you winning five Robbies how many Ontario Cups and how many Nationals I can't keep track anymore talk about that no I mean I was just very blessed to, to obviously play with a very talented Malvern Magic team and um, you know, we really helped propel my, my career, my vision to be a soccer player, my, my desire to want to be a soccer player, you know. Um, not to say that when, you, when you're playing up as a kid, it, you always have to be on the winning team to, to become a professional soccer player because that's not true. But I was, you know, in, in a very good position. Obviously, my dad was the coach. He's a, he's a, he's a coaching director for this, for this camp across um, North America, as well as my brother is, is helping in the organization side. So you're right, it is, it is a family effort, and, um, you know, it, and it's a community effort. And, um, you know, like I said, I want to just kind of unite everybody because this is a World Cup year for our national team. 
team. I want to get everyone on board to support our national team ultimately. Let's talk about that very quickly before we let you go. Let's be honest, Wayne. The last few games at BMO and Team Canada play, the atmosphere has been fantastic, but we need it even more now. Starting against the US of A, the centennial match, but then the World Cup qualifiers begin. In your heart of hearts, are you ready to go to bat, to war with these guys on your Team Canada and play any country right now? Oh, definitely. Definitely, 100% uh, ready. I can't wait. You know, especially you know, you look at an inaugural match, a centennial match for us, uh, June 3rd against the U uh, United States at BMO. It's a huge game for Canada. Like I said, it, it is our centennial match, so um, you know, it's 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 a it's a pride thing for us as, as Canadian national team players. And uh, you know, I know I could speak for all the guys on the team. We want to bring this um, country over the hump, and we're going to do whatever we can to 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 try to fulfill that. The newly elected president just yesterday, Victor Montaliani, said the player comes first, and that's about time. And I love what you said, Dwayne. Do we want to get to the next level as a country, or do we just want to be a recreational country? I think that's a valid point. What do we need to do in your mind now for the player? Well, obviously the grassroots is always key, and that's why, hence, I'm having this stuff and, and just developing the, the future stars and really creating environments where they can really develop and blossom and, and teach them many different styles of the game. Not only teach them, but also let them sit down and observe games and, and have a classroom sessions and, and really teaching these kids the other side of the game, which uh, I think a lot of the countries have really um, benefited from. Uh, but, you know, again, you know, funding is always a, always a big part of it. So hopefully we could get some people really going into their pockets and helping support this, uh, this sport that's widely played, played across um, all demographic of, of, of Canada. I think it's the number one sport played across Canada for many, many years now. It's time we give it the recognition it deserves. Well said. The last point, I can't let you go about talking, unfortunately, about the walls of TFC. I know that you personally don't revel in them starting the way they did because you got friends there. Yeah. And in, in this city of Toronto, a lot of people miss you. But... You playing yesterday, coming out 2-0 over TFC. What have you noticed that on your team worked well, but obviously on the other team that's not clicking? Yeah, well, on our team, thankfully, we have, we have firepower in all angles. You know, we have guys that are very dangerous um, up front. You know, we have guys that are making big plays. If you look at the two goals scored, it was assist from our center back. So, and, and it takes that kind of effort and mentality and that discipline to, um, first of all, to go at a team that's really defending, to stay disciplined and stay organized and, and not force the game. So it was good on our part to show our, our kind of character and discipline in that sense. And then when our chances did come, we capitalized on it. So, you know, and, and Amdi Salili comes off the bench and scores. So it shows, again, depth and character, which, um, which we're, we're very proud that we have this year. And, um, you know, on the TSC front, you know, I, I don't... You know, I don't really touch on that too much because um, I'm not in that locker room. Uh, I'm not dealing with an 0-8 situation right now, so I could only imagine how, how those guys are feeling. Like you said, I do have friends in that team and, you know, guys that potentially are going to suit up for the national team. And we can't have them going into um, national team games feeling negative or, you know, have any bad feelings. You know, we kind of keep encouraging them and keep continuing to work hard and play and then the results will come. That is a great point from a great man. Dwayne Di Rosario, thanks for giving back to the community, the Thank kids, you. the parents. And it's people like this all across this great country of ours that we need more of. Good luck for Team Canada. Get us to Brazil 2014, my friend. Thank you very much. And, you know, thank you for continuously supporting um, us as players and, and us as uh, uh, a national team and, and soccer across Canada. Thank you. Dwayne Di Rosario of Team Canada and DC United here with D-Roll United Youth Tour. D-Roll United Tour has arrived in Toronto, and right now John Conway, ex-goalkeeper in MLS, is here today. John, what brings you out here today? You're retired, it's a Sunday afternoon, you could be out there enjoying your day. What brings you out here to help out D-Roll? The kids, the kids brought me out. You know, I spoke with Dwayne and his brother about coming out and helping out for their initiatives, and um, I just jumped right on board with them to, to help out in any way I could. John, I can't believe the magical word today is free. Everything is free here today. And this goes to show you yourself and Dwayne and so many volunteers are giving back to the kids. And we need more people like you that the youth can look up to. What are you doing today? Do you want to get more involved to help out the kids? For sure. I mean, the kids are the future. And the future of soccer is making sure the kids have the right opportunities and get those opportunities that we got to provide them for them as, as the older players and players that have some, been established for, for a while. And helping out is in this way is, is the way we can do it. John, last question. You've settled in our great city, our great province of Ontario, but you've played in Ontario, in Canada, and you've played in the U.S. of A. Here in this province, I think you've seen it yourself today and other days. We're blessed with great talent. What do we need to do to get to our brothers down south and reach up to their level? It has to be synergy from the top to the bottom, from starting at the professional clubs in this country all the way down to the grassroots. Everybody working for the same cause. Uh, I feel like the U.S. has done that. they got to do that here. 
to put Canada on the map as a, as a powerhouse in CONCACAF. Well, we need you involved. John Conway, thanks for giving your time and your effort to these kids and helping out D-Roll and giving back. It's people like you that kids look up to. Thanks for coming out and giving out your time. Joining me right now is Mark D. Rosario. Mark, what a day it has been. A lot of smiles from kids here, a lot of smiles from parents, but more importantly, you've put in a ton of time and effort to help out your brother, to help out the community, and to give back. The key word, again, I keep using all day, free. I can't believe it, Mark. A superstar in our country of Canada in the game of soccer is giving back free. Not only his time, but, you know, pizza, a gifts, you name it, and he's here to help out. Why? Well, as you know, Dwayne Diro Rosario, uh, my brother, has been quite an ambassador for soccer in Toronto, uh, Canada, North America, actually. And uh, he's really dedicated to spreading the word and um, inspiring children to be the best they could be on and off the field. So we're trying to create a platform to help kids uh, and inspire them to be the best that they could possibly be and give them the tools to, to motivate them and to uh, inspire them. Yeah, but let's be honest, behind the scenes, you do a lot of the brunt work, you do a lot of the leg work, you put a lot of time out of your life to help out, even though you know you love your brother, respect him, but you want to give back to the kids as well. It's not because it's D-Row, it's about the kids. The most important thing is the kids, absolutely. Um, you know, we were all kids once, young at heart, and, uh, and when we were growing up, we didn't really have the opportunity to see, you know, MVPs come in our neighborhoods and, and, put a and actually speak to them and find out what really did they do to get to where they are. So for me, yes, I do put a lot of work into this, but to see a smile on a kid's face, it's, it's worth it tenfold, and I would do it over and over again if I had to. But here, you've gotten over 200 kids to give up their time and their parents to come here to, you know, enjoy the day. This is what it's all about. Yes, and we try to make it a very fun day for the kids. Um, again, them being close to Dwayne, being close to, to great coaches, being close to a very, very friendly staff, and realizing that we're giving you the opportunity to, to, to be who you are and express yourself. And with that, with the proper molding, we can, we can make better people, citizens, uh, community leaders on and off the field. Mark De Rosario, keep up the great work. You must have shaked about a couple hundred hands today, but it's all worth it. And again, the smiles are what it's all about. Yes, thank you very much, and thank you very much for the job you're doing. You're doing an absolutely great job, and we love having you here. And uh, thank you for everyone who's supporting uh, Dwayne De Rosario, Dior United, and the OSA. Appreciate that. Anything like this, we're here to help out not only you, but any of the Canadian athletes that want to give back to the kids in the community. Keep it up, and hopefully the kids will enjoy d -Row and his action with Team Canada coming up. Thank you very much, and hope to see everybody out on the BMO field in June for the Canada Soccer Games. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us again here on Touchline.